I was born and raised uh, in Terrace, British Columbia. I come from an alcoholic family, and I left home when I was 15. Just lived on the street for about four or five years. Got into selling drugs when I was at a young age of 16. Moved in with my girlfriend who was 14. and Started getting into a bit of cocaine, though, and my girlfriend got addicted. One night, um, when I went out to the bar, because I was now of age, uh, she was off with some friends, but something happened, went wrong, and some drug deal go wrong, and uh, they found her body, and they didn't know who the killer was uh, for five months, and I was a suspect, and I considered suicide, but I threw out a prayer to whoever would hear me. I had been born and raised in the Catholic Church at an early age and gone to Catholic school, I had known about God, but I didn't know God. I ra was radically answered, I feel, um, by a presence, presence of God who came and rescued me. And I got invited to a uh, Pentecostal church to come give my testimony, so I went. And I just really felt the Lord speak to me and say, this is home here. And, and so I really hit the streets as an evangelist right off the bat and started rescuing some of these younger kids. Uh, some of my old friends though totally rejected me because I was still a uh, suspect. But five months later when they found out who it was, there was some great alleviation across the town. Even the church was a little suspect, like who is this young drug dealer coming to our church? I ended up reading my Bible cover to cover a couple times that year and figuring out who this God is that rescued me. In that time, I met some First Nations. I heard the drum for the first time. Something awoken in me just uh, in worship, because I was a worship leader and I know music. I started to look into my heritage and found out that I had great uncles who were like political advisors for Louis Riel, and found out that um, there were some, my grandma was very ashamed of being First Nations. And, uh, her dad had, uh, her dad, who was a white guy, married a Cree woman, had renounced before the government, the heritage of the First Peoples so that my grandma actually didn't have to go to residential school. We ask for God to heal our nation. I had a vision back in 2011, and the full-on vision was uh, First Peoples in regalia, dancing with all of their heart before, the, before God, um, in worship with the church and church leaders and Church of Canada coming together. And I saw this great celebration what we're seeing is almost, well, for the first peoples who show up, even elders who sit back and watch, they're saying, this is what our young people need. My friends who come off the streets, uh, uh, they, they, they think this is the greatest thing just ever. Because music is a gift from God that touches the soul. Festivals, we've done 10 festivals in Kitimat. We're really excited and looking forward to some great worship times with Canada, outdoors with the First Peoples, the church. As a Métis, I'm, I feel picking up just who, what the call was of really one new man in Canada. Uh, the Europeans with the First Peoples, one new man. The cost is I'm hanging up my pouch and I've handed over our church to go and fulfill this, this call to rally First Peoples, to see them healed, and even bring the church together with the First Peoples, to see the blessing of God return to Canada in a whole new way.